And so yes. if you're a male, right. women are hypergamous, which means they meet across and up dominance hierarchies. And so yes. if you're a male who's successful in a given hierarchy, the probability that you're going to have additional mating opportunities is exceptionally high. It's an unbelievably good predictor of that. That hypergamy is a very uncomfortable discussion. Yes, it's certainly it. Well, there's plenty of uncomfortable yeah, discussions to be that's had. That's a big one, though. It is. The, the idea that it defines women's sexual choices by the fact hmm? that they want bigger, better. They want well, what, someone who's more okay. more successful, someone who's higher on the social ladder than what they're accustomed to or what they have. Yeah, now. well, what women do is that, like mate choice is a very difficult problem. So how do you solve it? Well, here's how women solve it: throw the men in a ring, let them compete at whatever they're competing at, assume that the man who wins is the best man, marry him. Yes, it's a brilliant solution. It's a market-oriented solution. It's actually the solution that appears to have driven our evolutionary departure from chimpanzees. It's a biological solution. It, it's it a would, biological would, solution, would but it has a cost. What is the cost? Say you're married and you have children with your husband, but you also have an affair. So you have a child by another man. That's more common than anyone suspects. So part of the way, way that women solve the problem that you're just describing, and I'm, I'm not saying anything for this or against this, this is a purely factual biological claim, is they pick a monogamous marriage and they cheat with high-status guys. Now, you know, obviously in the confines of the 